So one more thing is image guided radiotherapy and 4D plan. This is one more novel uh, technique has been started being implementing in certain centers. And uh, why is it needed? Because our organs are not static and they keep on moving. And the more they are near to continuous moving organs, especially like lungs, diaphragm, and the motion of the tumors in the near vicinity will be more. So if you are giving a beam of radiation, it, it is not always possible to hit the tumor if it is moving. So there can be interfraction motion or intrafraction motion. Intrafraction motion is during the treatment itself, it is moving. Interfraction is today it is at one position, tomorrow it can be a different position. So to capture all this data, we use 4D planning. That is the fourth dimension, that is the time. So in a particular set of time, how much the tumor is moving is all captured as set of uh, serial scans and all are combined to generate a integral target volume. So these translational movements like craniocardial, lateral, vertical, and rotational like uh, three roll, pitch, and yeah, all these can be uh, read through this 4D planning and can be utilized how to plan proper radiation risk zones. So these are some examples, how uh, the organs move and how this uh, uh, 4D CT helps us. Even the prostate, even you can see AP, it can move up to 1.5 to 4 mm and the sacroiliac, it may go around 1 point superior inferior. It can go 1.5 to 4.5. So these are some examples, how the motion, even uterus, cervix, these all move because some of them are not completely fixed organs especially bladder, it changes its uh, shape and structure with the amount of urine inside it. And also the displacement can be there. And also the bubble that is above the bladder can be changing based on the volume of the bladder. So if the bladder volume is less, bowel may come down into the zone of the treatment, or if it is more, it can go away. So these are all examples of how the motion is there with particular to certain organs and how we can utilize these motion values to correct our geographical misses. So as the techniques with imaging increase, the utilization of them with the radiation has also been increased. And uh, as you see, there are different types of uh, imaging we can see in radiology, the ultrasound guide based or the video based or the X-ray based. So even with video based, we are using LNRT or surface guided radiation which capture your motion through sensors placed on your chest. And this will be transmitted to the computer. And also the same thing, it uh, assesses how much the tumor is moving. And the same time, it changes the distance or the motion of the beam to be delivered. So precisely it will hit the target. Coming to X-rays, these have been widely utilized with cyber knife and also onboard uh, imaging with linear accelerators as well as uh, for specially with CNS brain lab. Coming to CT, it is utilized effectively in the tomotherapy. Tomotherapy is a linear accelerator developed from a CT scan. So a LINAC is attached to the circularly or helically rotating CT. And this keeps on giving you continuous CT imaging as well as continuous treatment utilizing a binary analysis. Coming to uh, CT can be fan beam or cone beam. Cone beam, KVCT, and MACT, these are utilized nowadays in the linear accelerators. They give excellent uh, uh, imaging just before delivering the treatment so that we can assess if there is an error to be corrected. And MRI, this is the future. And now MR based Linux are coming. And uh, this give even more excellent precision. And also, they have capabilities to do real time adaptation, which I will tell later. So as we have seen uh, 4D, there are uh, certain problems also that is reproducibility and uh, visualization as well as uh, dose delivered to them can be increased because you are involving larger volumes as the motion is increasing. So that can cause some increase in dose delivery. And also imaging image fusion is a bit difficult and it has to have expertise. So as we thought about that image delineation. Uh, there are certain other capabilities that have been used in radiation that is deformable image registration. These are uh, in the software itself, we can have automated 
contouring, which can directly um, detect the changes in the daily images, and it can snap to the uh, newly changed tumor shape uh, compared to the previous one. These are called DIRs. So here you can see the example of uh, 4D manual contouring. And you can see in the first image, here it is. And in the second, you can see differences with red, yellow, and green. So during inspiration, it is going up. During expiration, it's going up. So you will take into account all these and you create a larger volume so that it will not be missed during radiation. So this can be done using manual contouring or automated contouring using several algorithms that have been incorporated into the systems. So here you can see this is a source image. This is the target image. Target image is the one which is taken on the day of treatment every day. So it can be the same. It can be a bit different. So you will be seeing a 2D view and you have a 3D view. So you will try to match as much as possible to precisely the source time which we have planned and the image which you have taken today so that the tumor will be exactly focused. So this is an example uh, how it shows today it is here and tomorrow it is there individual pixels. There will be sl slight variations and that will be again recorrected using automated uh, shifts and can be delivered. So as we have already discussed these limitations, tumor tracking is a problem with the normal things. And so 4D has been come and uh, gating has also been incorporated, but with 4D, the time delay to detect a motion means that even with tracking, gating is also important. So 4D, you are simply using 4D, but doesn't uh, give much value unless you are trying to decrease the margin. So for this, we use gating. Gating means during inspiration, the patient is all asked to hold the breath and during that period only, the beam will be delivered. So particularly in the motion, it will prefer one particular zone of motion and it, the beam will be delivered exactly the same position. So a 4D delivery can be done using ignoring the motion or using gating to freeze the motion and just continuous uh, following the motion that is tracking. So in freezing the motion, patients can breathe normally that then using the respiratory gating technique, we can deliver the treatment at particular time of the inspiration or expiration. So if it is used using breathing control, as I said, patient is asked to hold the breath at particular time like inspiration or expiration and the beam is delivered and again he will release the air. So these are examples of how to minimize this organ motions as we have discussed the breath hold technique and this can reduce the dose or the uh, lung density rate area so much and it helps a lot in uh, saving the normal lung. So another thing is active breathing control. It is like a uh, you, uh, the patient is asked to breathe actively and uh, he has to hold the breathing for 15 to 30 seconds. If he has practiced this, we can take him for active breathing control and the same way he will be simulating on the main radiation area and particular point of uh, breathing holding time, the ra radiation will be delivered. So other thing is real-time position management. Here, uh, as I said, synchrony or the uh, video camera based tracking as well as radiological tracking. Like uh, if you see cyber knife and all, we use some video shells which are small golden seeds inserted near the vicinity of that tumor. For example, take prostate. A few gold seeds are uh, kept surrounding the prostate. And that cyber knife can detect these uh, seeds wherever they are moving, it can detect and exactly deliver the dose uh, based on these three coordinates from the seeds or the fiducials. The same way video camera assisted synchrony is another thing. And the non-radiographic tracking is done through implanted radio frequency coils or 3D USG based tracking. But we are not using this much, but most of the common, we use fiducials a lot as well as a respiratory synchrony. Coming to next technique, which is evolving, and uh, still not completely utilized by everyone is the adaptive radiotherapy planning. It, adaptive by the word, it means the plan will be adapted to the changes during the course of the time in the tumor environment, as well as the changes or shrinkage of the tumor. As a